sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm hmm yeah -ha. Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Hello, everybody, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Grim Fandango. I figured I would just start right off with the beginning scenes. Stay quiet during those. So you can see this new remastered version is all in all its glory. Yep, this is the remastered version, and I downloaded it seriously the very, very minute it became available. It said it was available uh, January 27th, but it's still the 26th, but uh, I guess it's the 27th in like New York or something. So it became available to me at about 10 o'clock. So download it as quick as possible, and now I am playing it, and I am so happy. This is the first time this game has been re-released, I believe the only time, since its first release 15 years ago. And it's one of those cult classics that so many people love, yet is so unavailable. Trying to get an original copy of this, near impossible, unless you're like a millionaire. But, that aside, well you can, you know, pirate it. I did try to pirate this game once, did not go over well, got a huge virus, even with all my virus protection. So, um, I decided to put off doing that, but I just discovered like a week ago that this was coming out, and I was so excited, and here I am playing it. Now, Grim Fandango is an interesting game. As you can see, it sort of, uh, has some, I would guess, uh, Central American culture. I'm not sure if it's purely Mexican, I'm not sure exactly where all this culture hails from, but it's kind of hails from when you uh, hear of Dia de los Muertos, November 1st, it's uh, kind of in that style, at least the characters are. However, the game itself is a lot more in a film noir style, so there's not actually much of the, uh, as far as I can see, there's not really much of the Latino culture, aside from, you know, Manny Calavera is actually, Spanish, he said here, you heard him say, uh, 
Okay, it says though, what is that? When he saw that too. So, uh, the remastered version, you could actually change the controls. You could do camera relative controls, but for this, I actually prefer tank controls. So, I changed them around. I might change them back depending, but as you can see, when there's something important, Manny will look at it. So this is a point and click adventure game, this is from LucasArts, I saw the Double Fine logo at the beginning, that's new because Double Fine is the company that I believe Tim Schafer runs, I'm not sure if he runs it or is just a big part of it, but uh, Tim Schafer, if you are watching this, I'm a huge fan, I've done all your Monkey Island games, I've loved Psychonauts, I loved uh, just all your games, I'm hoping to play Broken Age soon, uh, Brutal Legend of course, I loved that game way underrated. But anyway, let us look around. So you have these icons you can pick up, look at, uh, manipulate, and I don't, I think that's just Manny right there. You don't click on that one. Let us look. Looks like I got a message. Well, let's read the message. So we are in the land of the dead and we are a reaper apparently to pay off dead. So I don't know what happened, but uh, we did not even get to make the journey. In fact, we have to work to even earn what that guy just got himself when he had negative currency. So, we... I don't know what happened to us in the previous life, but, uh, anyway. Let's grab this. By the way, the uh, his last name, Calavera, means skull in Spanish. That's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads! Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars! We have a mass poisoning on our hands! Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve! So let's see some hustle out there! Whatever you say, Hefe. <laughs> Hefe, of course, is boss, but you probably already knew that. So let's take a look around. This is apparently our office. Ah, the old files, the old clients, the glory days, when people died with dignity, and Domino Hurley didn't exist. I don't want to reread the old files. It'll just make me sad. Uh, can you pick anything up? Not picking that up. Okay. So you can also click to where you want to go, and that works too. I might actually be doing that more often. Oh, I don't want to... Keep getting I'm using tank controls right now. Let's see, I might, I might actually change those. All right. Um. Well, what are you looking at? Sorry, I'm trying to. Uh, ah, there we go. That's what you were looking at. It's a deck of cards. Now they're actually. Uh, I know in the original game there were a few cheats you could type in that did some interesting things. I mean, there's no need to cheat in this game. You can't die. But, um, I'm going to try those out later. Like I said, I literally just downloaded this, so, uh, we'll see later if any of those work. So they can do some interesting things. But there's a deck of cards here. We might as well grab Better those. take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. Aw. Uh, and, uh, you see when you, uh, take an item, sometimes you actually hold it out. And it's holding that item. You can only use an item, I'm sorry, when you're actually holding it. There's a little ashtray for cigarettes right here. Yeah, walk toward uh, an exit. Oh, and this game does not save automatically. So, to save, so here's all the things. By the way, this I have as my uh, background, my uh, wallpaper, sorry, for my computer. Um, actually, something I want to do. Let's do voice and text. All right, and to save game, just go to save game, pick a slot, and you're good. That's really it. All right, so we've got that out of the way, and I have no idea how long we're playing. And to uh, run, you actually hold down shift. At least I have it on shift. You can change it to whatever key you want. Originally, this was just using arrow keys, but I changed it to uh, the traditional WASD. I might even change it to a controller if I felt like it. This is... It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. <laughs> Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? 
What poisoning? The Code 3 Gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Nah, we got it. Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No, but I like to hear your description of it. Just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. <laughs> well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. Ah, poor girl. Well, you're probably getting paid. You probably have to repay some debts too. What if we just skip town tonight, you and me, baby? Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But in one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul, and you don't even know it. What do you mean by that? Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Que tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. Que tries. I've never actually heard that phrase before, but, uh... It's like, well, he's like, w what do you mean? What are you saying? I'm guessing from context. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. I guess it's called the fat days because they were fat with flesh. Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. <laughs> All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Coppel. Wait, Manny was on top at one point. And yes, I will be going through all the unnecessary dialogue, because it's all awesome. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. Well, well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? She seems sus... Actually, a little suspicious at that question. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Yeah, Ouch. yeah. We'll get there. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? <laughs> it's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Hmm, does Manny have a family? Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. Well, it's first come, first serve, so he's not really stealing anything. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, belleza. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I te watch you. I te watch you? What <laughs> A lot of this, I think, is more uh, Mexican Hedegas slang that I don't really understand. Because I do know Spanish, but I don't know all the colloquialism of it. Alright, so uh, is there anything around here to look at? Jeez, how many cigarettes can you smoke? You don't even have any lungs. Huh? It's a hole punch. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. <laughs> Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Sure does. Can we take it? Could I take your whole punch? Ha! <laughs> I doubt you could take my half punch. <laughs> Touche. Hmm. So let's go over how to use an item. Go into your inventory, which is this suit. Goes into his pa his uh, bag. And what is this? My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. And then you uh, can go to the next item. It's some sort of special work order. I think I just have to press E to examine. 
This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. So we can uh, select that. And as you can see, this icon changed because you can use the item that you're holding on whatever you selected. And I Manny, just... what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. For some reason or another, I don't know. But we now have a marked card we can put away. What I'm going to use it for, who knows. Alright, so let's go back. Let's see. I'm going to take this elevator. Okay. So apparently we have a driver. Let's uh, see if we can't find our car. Um, looks like everyone else is left. Oh, but there are more cars here. usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. <laughs> Too bad, because we needed a driver. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Uh, yeah, wasn't that nice? Jerk. Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. Yeah, it seems a bit small for you. If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fumes. <sighs> hmm. Can't imagine. <laughs> I'm, I'm never sure what Gladys is supposed to be anyway. I don't know who designed him, but he's definitely an interesting character. We'll be seeing a lot of him. Gladys? Gladys? Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire... to drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Well, coincidentally, looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. <laughs> you want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry, can't. Rules. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. Oh. You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. Nah. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. <laughs> hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies. Just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> so are there like female elemental spirits? Screw the rules. Come with me. No, I don't want to get in trouble again. I yes. said one more strike and I'm out. Well, do you know anyone who can drive? Everybody's gone. It's the day of the dead, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, one more option left. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick 
torch job to let out the seams, you know? Uh, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. All right, so we now have a work order. But can we get Glottis to drive for us so we can make it to the poisoning and get some souls for ourselves to reap? Well, you are just going to have to find out next time on Let's Play Grim Fandango Remastered. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.